I think the hard truths belong to Singapore and not to Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> so, uh, they, they, are, they, they were his take on the world of what, cha- what he considered to be uh, realities which would not change very rapidly. And it comes down to what sort of society where we are, what sort of people we have to be, what sort of region we are living in, how we must relate to the world and how we must understand what kind of world we're living in so that we can survive and prosper. And I think we need that. Uh, in a way, we are more prosperous, we are more developed, we are more educated, uh, we have more students in, in our universities. And therefore you say, well, it's not quite as same as before because we're not so desperate, we're not so poor, we have more choices. And yet, if we want to succeed as one people in Singapore, and not just three and a half million people who happen to carry red passports, but, uh, well, that's just a convenience, then I think there are things which we have to remember that it may be peace, we may be prospering, our neighbours are on good terms with us, There are opportunities in many places. And yet, unless you work for your living, unless you understand that not not everything you see is like that, and there are many things which are like that which you don't see in the world. If we don't understand that, if we don't understand that, and we don't hang together, I think uh, it will be much harder for us to work. But... uh, there's every reason for us to be able to work together and to make it work. And I think the hard truth will be part of that. You will complement that with softer truths and other aspects of life, but this, this gritty bit must be somewhere inside there and should not be forgotten. It's, it's the little bit of hard stuff around which the oyster pearl can form. <laughs>